I was about five blocks away from where the road was. And the UAW was such a major, major force to try to bring some sanity. So, and I had the privilege of, uh, gosh, you're making me reminisce. <laughs> 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 I was, I was running for governor, and the UAW convention, I think, was in Atlantic City. That way before your time. <laughs> and I, uh, I had the privilege of going up on the stage uh, and spending about a half an hour uh, with Walter Ruther. If the votes for his re-election would be counted. And Roy used to come to our Open County Democratic meetings Invariably, he would come. Like everybody else, he was, he was a rank and filer to the end of his days, as Walter was. So you have a, I mentioned this for your tradition. It's so, so unusual and so vital. You all carry on with the heritage. Um, all right, so these issues with Vietnam. Those are two examples, and other relates to currency, and we'll go into other details. So we need to, to, to now focus in on the substance of trade agreements, and, and, and we have failed to do that here. The Republicans, most of them aren't interested. They'll rubber stamp any trade agreement. And among Democrats, there have been differences of opinion, but I think everybody agrees most of us that we need to dig into the substance and I've given you a few examples. So you're against the fast tracking of it? Well, I, I, I'm against, I, I very much oppose the fast track bill that was presented. I was the one of the four who didn't agree. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. But, <laughs> but there's new leadership of the Senate Finance Committee. The chairman is 